Past hour, the governor of North Carolina has declared a state of emergency in the city of Charlotte. He is sending the National Guard and Highway Patrol to assist local police there. It's because there's been a second night of violent protests in the city after police killed a black man on Tuesday. Uh, we can show you the latest pictures that we are getting a helicopter shot uh, above Charlotte, which is the biggest city in North Carolina. Riot police have been firing tear gas at angry crowds in the center of Charlotte. Violent demonstrations breaking out after the killing of Keith Lamont Scott, whom police said had a gun and ignored commands to drop it, but his family says he was not armed. During tonight's protest, one person has been shot and is on life support. City officials, they say that no police fired the shot that wounded that particular protester. The BBC's Gary O'Donoghue is in Charlotte. We spoke to Gary earlier. There were calls earlier on in the day, of course, for calm at these protests after yesterday's events uh, with the killing of Keith Lamont Scott. Now, uh, they did seem to start the evening reasonably calm. There were choppers overhead. There were some reports of people marching through the town. There was a prayer vigil. But at about quarter to nine, things started to turn a bit more uh, violent. Uh, so around that sort of time as well, the police started to use tear gas to try and disperse some of the crowds. There were reports of, of things being thrown. Uh, and the police lines were moving forward on the protesters. And there's been a number of people uh, here today in Charlotte talking about how they don't believe, for example, that it was a black police officer that shot Keith Lamont Scott yesterday afternoon. They don't believe that he had a gun in his hand, which is what the police say. They believe he was carrying a book and had no gun whatsoever. So there's a lot of, clearly there's a lot of distrust, and that distrust has has overflowed again tonight on the streets. Uh, things really did take a turn for the, in a way that everyone hoped they wouldn't tonight. Gary O'Donoghue in Charlotte. Let's speak to Jean. In Charlotte, let's speak to Jean Busby. Jean is a community organizer with Action North Carolina and joins us now from the city. Jean Busby, thank you very much for your time. Could you just briefly just summarize the circumstances of Keith Lamont Scott's killing for us? Okay, from what I've heard, he was at the bus stop, the downtown transit center, um, waiting to um, his child, pick up his child. And it's just so, it's bizarre for what happened, but I don't understand, you know, why and how it is that he got shot. Uh, what I'm hearing was that um, he had reached inside of his coat but everybody says it was a book, and he just, you know, got killed waiting for his child up at the bus stop. It's it's bizarre. It's very bizarre. The list gets longer and longer, doesn't it? Just a couple of days ago in Tulsa, Oklahoma, a black man was walking with his arms in the air back towards his vehicle. Police officers, they stunned him with a taser. The second officer shot him dead. What does your organization advocate to try to find some kind of solution to this issue? Because it goes on and on and on. We advocate that the community, we um, basically it's, um, it's African-American young men and young women. So we're advocating that the community come together united. We're gonna have to come together united. This has gone on too long and we just, you know, have sessions on training on how to, uh, for our young people to how to um, react when policemen are around, you know, try to be more um, mannerable, for lack of a better word. But there's just to be training for our young people to let them understand that they are an endangered species and we try to. We want to try to sit down with the community on a regular basis and the, com and the police to bring some um, normalcy to the situation. There's far too many of our young people are being killed. Your um, action... Just because... Sorry, sorry, Jean. I was just uh, sorry to interrupt you. I was going to say that your organization, Action North Carolina, the national movement Black Lives Matter, do you believe that the police in the United States are institutionally racist? 
I believe, yeah, they're institutionally racist. Um, the saying goes that they've exchanged the hood for a badge and a gun and made it legal for that mentality, that that sort of mentality of racism to carry arms. And I just think that we're just targeted as a people to, um, to you know, to keep us oppressed and afraid. Jean, we very much appreciate your time. Thank you very much indeed for speaking to us on BBC World News. That is Jean Busby from Action North Carolina in Charlotte.